Full time in Windsor Park, where it has finished 3 1 to Linfield against Vlasnia in the first leg of this Europa League Conference League qualifier. The home side dominated the game and take a commanding position into, heading into the tie next week. The first half began at a frantic tempo as Linfield looked to stun their opponent straight out the gate. The boot of Kirk Miller produced some wonderful crosses and set pieces throughout the, the opening half, finding Danny Finlayson in the opening minute, his header just inches wide. Four minutes later, Matthew Fitzpatrick also found himself on the end of a Miller cross. This time his header flashed across the face of the goal and Vlasnia could breathe a sigh of relief. Chris McKee's half folly from 25 yards out in the 30th minute was Linfield's best chance of the half. The midfielder striking the ball cleanly after Fitzpatrick had teed the ball up for him following a cushioned chest pass. McKee's effort was just inches above the crossbar, but what a goal it would have been. Five minutes into the, into the second half, completely against a run of play, Vlasnia striker Beckham Balaj found himself one-on-one -on -one with Chris Johns in the Linfield net after a mix-up in the home side's defence. Balaj seemed to panic and had more time than he believed he had. Balaj took a shot first time that was easily dealt with by Johns in the end, but was a real wasted opportunity for the visitors. This mistake frightened Linfield as they ran the risk of dominating the game but going a goal down, and responded just six minutes later with a goal to break the deadlock. A powerful run from Kyle McLean saw the midfielder glide through the heart of the Vlasnia defence before taking a shot at goal. His effort was deflected and rebounded to Chris McKee, who powered the ball emphatically into left-hand side netting, and Linfield took the lead in the tie. Just 11 minutes later, McKee added to his tally for the night with a wonderful volley from just inside the box that sailed into the bottom left-hand corner, leaving Kari in the Vlasnia net no chance. Earlier in the move, McKee won the ball back after a sloppy pass before offloading the ball to Joel Cooper, who ran at the left-hand side of the visitor's defence. Cooper then whipped a beautiful cross to the back post where it was met with a first-time volley from McKee, who took his finish excellently. Before you know it, Jack Scott made it three for Linfield on the night, scoring an excellent goal from 20 yards out. Scott was played through by an excellent ball from Chris McKee, who split two defenders to find his teammate. Two quick, two quick touches from Scott set the ball up perfectly, as he then struck the ball cleanly past Carey, making it a very long way back for the visitors in this tie. Vlasny, however, scored a late goal through Marco Juric, after a controversial second yellow card was awarded to Finlayson, who was forced to leave the pitch. It was a rather soft tackle, but the referee didn't hesitate to show, the, to show the defender his second yellow card of the night. From the resulting free kick, Juric was able to power the ball into the back of the net, following a series of rebounds and balls in the Linfield box. How important could that goal be in this tie? Linfield closed out the game to win 3-1 in the end in what was a dominant performance from the home side, who now take a commanding lead in the tie ahead of the reverse fixture in Albania next week. Full-time in Windsor Park, Linfield 3, Vlasnia 0.